Welcome back to this video. In this video, I will give you at least top five WhatsApp privacy features you need to know right now. So let's meet. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you find this tutorial useful and you are very new to this channel, remember click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial tips and tricks about how best you can use WhatsApp. With that being said, let's get started. Welcome back to top five WhatsApp privacy updates feature that you need to know right now. So the very first one I would like to show you right here, I'm going to open up my WhatsApp. Then after open up my WhatsApp, the next thing I'm going to do is to select a chat. I'm going to select a chat right here. And the next thing I want to do here is to simply click on here. Then I will navigate to my gallery. Then I will select a picture. Then when you select a picture, I'm going to click on here. Then I'll click on OK. Then I'll send. So with that, this picture here is going to be filled once. Picture when you and your receiver will not be able to fill the picture. So this is one of the secret privacy you need to understand as far as WhatsApp update is concerned. Then another one here is that you can also send audio notes as a few one. For you to do that, what you need to do is to simply click hold down the audio notes. Same. So you also have audio voice notes to be viewed as once. So this is the second secret privacy update you need to know about WhatsApp. So let's take a look at the third one. For us to know about the third one, what you want to do next is to simply click on the three dots at the top on your WhatsApp and go to settings, then go to privacy. Then right here, if you enable this button, it simply means that you can read anybody's message and they will not be notified that you have read their message. This is the third one I have for you as far as top five privacy WhatsApp update you should know right now. So let's take a look at the fourth one as far as privacy on WhatsApp is concerned. The third one I would like to show you here is a situation whereby if you select a chat just like so, and you tap on the name and you simply scroll down just like so and click on lock chart. So if I click on lock chart, it means that then click on continue, then enter your fingerprint to lock the chart. Just like so, the chart has been locked like this. And this simply means that if anybody has access to your WhatsApp and they want to check on this particular contact chart, with you is not going to be possible. So let me quickly go back to my WhatsApp. So by the time I refresh my WhatsApp, you will see that nobody will be able to see the contact, just like so. And if you want to check on the message that you just logged, the chat that you just logged, what you need to do is to simply come to the top right here, click on lock chats, then enter your security fingerprint lock, or you use your pattern, then you have access back to the contact. This is the fourth one as far as privacy features that you need to know about WhatsApp is concerned. Let's take a look at the very last one. So the very last one here is when you go to this three dot at the top, go to settings, then from settings, you can simply scroll down, then go back to privacy, Then simply scroll down and uh, where you see app lock disable, enable it. So for you to enable it, simply click on this icon right here to turn it on. Then enter your pattern. Boom. Then you can decide to lock immediately or after one minute or after 30 minutes. Everything depends on you. 
there you can simply go back go back and back by the time i want to access back to this particular whatsapp it's going to ask me to enter my log pattern so let me exit from the whatsapp so by the time i click on the whatsapp icon just like so so let's see that's going to ask me to enter my lock pattern so i can use my lock pattern to unlock and open the complete tag on whatsapp so these are basic so basically these are top five whatsapp features privacy settings you should know right now i hope you will really find all these features useful if you find this tutorial useful give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials about whatsapp trees thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Peace.